Hello everyone. Uh, in the previous video about the SVM, we ended up with a constrained optimization problem to find the widest margin that would separate our data. So this is was our constrained optimization problem. So we wanted to find the minimum of this function for W and D, right? And also, we had a constraint which is written in this form, yi multiplied by w dotted with xi plus uh, plus d, or rather b, I think it's b, minus 1, and this should be higher or equal than 0. So this is our constraint. So this minimization problem is subject to this constraint. Now to understand how to solve that, I decided to make a video about how to solve an optimization or a constrained optimization problem in general and I will particularly talk about how to do that using the Lagrangian technique because there are many other techniques other than Lagrangian to solve constrained optimization problems. And uh, just to tell you as an aside, we decided in SVM we use the Lagrangian because it allows us to use something called the kernel trick, which is a technique used to separate uh, data that is non-linearly separable. Okay, so this is just to understand why we chose the Lagrangian instead of other techniques. Well, anyway, first of all, I want you to see a visual interpretation of what is a constrained optimization problem is say that I have the following function say that this is a function of uh, w and I have a function in this form so if I want to minimize this now what I can do is just to compute the derivative I want to compute the derivative of this with respect to w and you know find the w that satisfies this equation. But this is a non-constrained optimization problem. Now I want to make it constrained, so I want my solutions to be higher or equal than c. So say that this is, for example, a constant c, right? This is c. And I want, now I want to minimize for w, minimize the function f of w, such that w should be higher or equal than c. So, in other words, I can write this in this form. I can say w minus c is higher or equal than zero, and this is a function, gw, that represents the constraint. So we have the function that we want to minimize, which is f of w, and we have also the constraint, or the function of the constraint, which is g of w, that uh, says that w minus c should be higher or equal than zero. In other words, we want to find our solution only in this interval here, from c to plus infinity. This is another example uh, on two dimensions. Say that I have the same function but on two dimension. That is, I have two variables, w and d, right? Uh, and say that this is, for example, is equal to x squared plus y squared, which is the same thing as this curve here, but it's on two dimension. So it's a convex uh, two dimensional function. And I want <coughs> I want to minimize this. I want to minimize the function f for w and d while taking into account the constraint g of w uh, d. So I want, I want my, say for example, my w minus, uh, say, minus 5, I want this to be equal to 0, right? In other words, I want my uh, solutions only on w equal 5. We just bring this 5 here, okay? This is the constraint. Let's forget about this thing here. You bring 5 here, then it means that your constraint is w equal 5. Okay? 
So if I have this graph, for example, this is my two-dimensional graph, I will not draw, of course, this function because it's difficult on me to draw. Uh, I just want to show a visual uh, interpretation of this constraint. This is normal, it should be W, and this is D, and this is my function, F. So when I say that I have a constraint like this, W equal to 5, I want to find the solutions only in this direction, along W equal 5. Find the solutions along W equal 5 and ignore everything else. This is kind of what we want to do. And as I told you, there are many ways to solve that. And one way is to use the Lagrangian. And so, uh, first of all, I will try to, to explain what is the, the Lagrangian and what, it, what, is, what it's, its idea. So, for example, say that I have the following constraint optimization problem. So the Lagrangian, what the Lagrangian does is that it creates a new equation, let's call it L, denote the Lagrangian, and what we are trying to do is to minimize this equation here, we will try to minimize this new equation called the Lagrangian for W and D, and not also only for W and D, but also for another thing that is called the Lagrangian coefficient, alpha. And when we do that, when we find the, uh, when we minimize this equation, the Lagrangian equation for W and D and alpha, the solution W and D would also minimize this original constrained optimization problem. In other words, what the Lagrangian does is that it transforms a constrained optimization problem into a non-constrained optimization problem, which is kind of easier to solve, right? So this is the Lagrangian equation. Now, what we want to see is to, to see what is this equation. Well, this is the Lagrangian equation. If I have only one constraint, this is the equation. So it's equal to the function I want to minimize, f minus alpha multiplied by the constraint that I want. And if you minimize this, as I told you, you find the w and d, and the solution for this uh, equation would represent also a solution for this constrained optimization problem. Now this is, of course, this is valid if I have one constraint, one constraint, and an equality constraint, an equality constraint. So as you can see here, this is an equality constraint. <coughs> So w minus 5 is equal to 0 because there are other cases where the constraint is not an equality and then there is, you know, a, just a slight change on this formula. Now let me generalize this for n constraints. So here I have only one constraint, which is g, uh, w and d. So what if I have more than one constraint? Say that I have, for example, n constraints. So what what is the form of this equation for n constraints? So for n constraints for n constraints and of course I have an equality constraint equality constraint this is the new optimization problem we need to solve we need just to solve the optimization problem we need to optimize the Lagrangian equation which depends upon W and D and alpha so here I will not use only alpha I will have you know alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 until I reach alpha n because they have n constraints 
So for each constraint, I have a Lagrangian coefficient. So here, instead of writing alpha, I will write alpha i. And I would say, of course, i starts from 1 up to n, which is the number of constraints. Now this is equal to f minus the summation of the coefficients multiplied by the constraints I have, the eighth constraint. And I start from 1 to n. Now just to make that clear, for example, if I have n equal to 2, in that case, this equation here becomes alpha 1, so here I have alpha 1 and alpha 2 because I have two constraints and this would be equal to f minus alpha 1 g1 minus alpha 2 g2 okay and I just minimize, try to minimize this equation by taking the gradient of the Lagrangian and making it equal to 0 which is nothing but the partial derivative with respect to these variables now, if you're wondering about uh, this, the meaning of this alpha, the alpha, which is the Lagrangian coefficient, this is in fact just a coefficient that relates the gradient of the function we want to optimize with the gradient of the function of our constraint just to tell you what what is the meaning of this uh, alpha is and if you want to see uh, to know more details about it please check there is an amazing video that uh, Khan Academy made about it it's very clear uh, so just if in case you are curious about the meaning of this alpha okay anyway so this was how to solve the uh, constraint and equality constraint optimization problem for n constraints now, in the next video, I'll try to talk about how to do the same thing, but for inequality constraint.